It, my eggs froze. Jerple bog. Hi, puppy. Um, well, <clears throat> okay. We won't do a long intro then. I feel like I'm ready. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, friend. Z. Good evening, robots. Good evening, puppy. Good evening, darling. <laughs> Hubbisband. Nat. <sighs> it's a very special evening because we're going to try something. We're going to try something wild, something that's never been done before. Not once by anyone. We're going to play a game on stream together right now. Let me uh, pull up my... I, I set all this stuff up. Hopefully it works. I do have to kind of... You can see it's there's a lot of rules here, but... I'm going to be figuring it out as we go. And that's all there is to it. No music. We don't need music. If you want music, uh, put some on. Put, put on your favorite chill jams. Tunes, games, a j yeah, with those situations, anatomy, play sheet, economy area, notes area. <clears throat> uh, this is called Pencil Town, as you can read, obviously, right here. In this beautiful cover. It's a game by this person named Andrew Backhouse fantastic name. I don't know if I can think of a better last name than Backhouse. Well, wait, wait, wait. Come, come, come up to the front of this stream's house as we play Pencil Town together. Mason Delegale. Uh, this looks like a lot because it is a lot. Uh, I think it's going to work out great. I know how to zoom in and out, so we're going to be making a map together. We might build a little tower and then add another a little piece to it here and fill it up with people and lumber and stone. Uh, we'll try not to spell anything too lurid. This is it. This is a this is a five dollar semi complex uh, dwarf fortress esque solo RPG that we're. I'm mostly gonna play it. All right, I'm mostly me playing it, but y'all can play along as well. And I'm using this thing called Sophie's Dice over here in the corner, which is an amazing little application that I got for free in some bundle that I use all the time. It's very robust. I will be using it to roll two d6s, which is super dull. Um, but it, it can do it all. Just trust. Just believe me. We're not going to mess with it because I, I got it all set up just right. I think everything's in a decent place. I've got some clarifying information here. Just, just in case we need reminders for what these different things are. And a little little setup of like kind of the rules order, but let's let's uh, let's let's just kind of let's jump in. I've read the rules once. There's a lot of them. We're gonna go to the beginning. I believe the first thing we're gonna do is set down our town center, establish a few restrictions for ourselves. We're gonna play on the easiest difficulty. It can get harder, but they recommend easy, so we're gonna do that. Uh, let's scroll here. Let me pull up my PDF. Good evening, everybody. BT way. It's a. It's been a really beautiful couple of days where I live. Uh, I imagine it will continue to be beautiful for another couple of days, and then it'll get back to being really hot, and then it'll get nice, then it'll get cold, uh, then it'll get hot again. This is the the way the world works. Okay. Almost there. Here we go. Is this it? Reference. Okay. Reminders. Game setup. Select difficulty. 
one. Cross out one fewer round. So we're not doing anything there. Um, let's see. That's uh, up down here at the bottom. <clears throat> this is gonna be. We're gonna cross out these uh, different round numbers as we as we as we continue. As we as we rock and roll. Oh, let's see. And uh, so the next thing is mark R at zero. That's our reputation. That's what's circled in red at the top. Name the town. I did that. Sorry. The, that was not a collab. We're going to be Breakfast Town this time. Welcome to Breakfast Town. And because it's our first time playing, we're going we're gonna to use the most basic objective the game recommended, which is just to survive to the 100th round, which is, again, down here at the bottom. So far, so good. Uh, this reads like an NIST special publication. What's NIST? I don't know what that means. Um, but I imagine it means something a little complicated. <laughs> we're just following some some rules here. We're going to make a few choices along the way, but a lot of it is understanding rules, deriving proper functionality therein. Okay, roll objective modifiers. So this is the next part. We're gonna have two. Uh, we're gonna have two positive modifiers to help us this time. So let's go find those positive modifiers. I think they're here. Modifier. Aha. Okay. To roll modifier. Okay. Roll a d3 and a d6. Great. So the blue one will be our d3. That means one through two is one. Three through four is two etc etc and on down the line you'll never I mean I think you can understand what the final piece there is if not we'll explain it if I happen to roll a five or a six but I won't you can figure that one out yourself so let's roll these we're gonna get two positive we're gonna get two boons tunes let's do it okay one comma two quarry s gain increased by one okay so that means that when we use a quarry, which we don't have right now, but if we build a quarry, we will gain more stone every time we do use it. And let's put that over here. Mods, it's up at the top. Okay. Let's zoom in here. <laughs> Excellent. Amazing. Good, good. Good, good. This is going to work. Yes. Uh, we'll put okay. Stick that here, and okay, it works. It fits. Quarry gain increased by one. Okay, I have to make this font a little smaller. Do da shaba da di. Beautiful. Oops. What? Oops. Oops. Uh, yeah, 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 just like that. Okay. You're still with me? That's good. Okay. Understood. Our quarry gains are going to be so much bigger. They're going to be one bigger. Got it. Next, Shabadoo. Okay, two, so that's one comma one. Let's look. Uh, oh, I, shh. I did such a good job, but I forgot to move this out of the way. Lumber mill wood increased by one. Okay, so we're just going to have more stuff. I like it. I can do that. Let's see. Uh, okay. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Copy that. Move this out of the way. And paste. Great. We're using GIMP, which is, you know, who knows? Might be good enough. Might, might, might work out just fine. So far, so good. Come on, fit. Why don't you fit? Hmm. There we go. That's, that'll do. Yeah, 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 great. Oh, I love it. Oh, 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 stats and statistics. Thanks, any of y'all that joined earlier. Hmm. That's uh, Ian, 
my friend from the real world um, who is streaming today and it was delightful they run speedily they speed they speed ran a randomizer shocking behavior I don't know why anyone would play a game so fast okay there we go welcome to breakfast town population I don't know we haven't done that yet um, in breakfast town this time around we uh, we're going to get extra stuff from our lumber mills and our quarries. I love it. I love it. This is working. This is this is going okay. I'm proud of all of you. And I'm proud of myself. We're going to make this thing do... We're going to make this thing sing. This is going to be fun. It's going to be great. I'm enjoying myself. Let's see. Modifiers. Done. Build and number. Town center. Size one, avoid Craig. Craig's not cool. Drink more scrumpy. That's good scrumpy. <clears throat> That's good scrumpy. Do a flip. All right, you want me to do a flip? Hold on. Uh, here, uh, real quick, I'll do a flip just for just for you, huh? Uh. Uh, wait, 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 here it is. Hup. Okay. And, hup. And, uh, just, just, uh, one more and, uh, hup. That's a backflip. That was actually a backflip. I don't know if you saw that, but that was a backflip. In four parts. <clears throat> four part harmony. Ooh, shabadoo. What's happening? Build a town center. Don't. Don't distract me. This once I once I'm in the rhythm, this is all gonna be good. I just feel a little. I gotta combobulated. I stuck the landing on the on the flip. I'm doing a great job. Doing a great job. Build the town center. Size one. No Craig allowed. Craig's gross. Okay. F fault and features. Oh, avoid Craig. Fault and features. Not okay fine this is a little bit see this is why it's important to use semicolon sometimes when you're doing lists within lists or whatever isn't that how you do it gotta be careful but what we're doing right now is we're making our town center so let me go find the town center it's here great town center okay I do have this up right okay good 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 this is our town center we are making this outer uh, horse buckle right here if we don't end up upgrading it, we'll start here with two, three, four, five, six. Wow. But for now, <clears throat> we're just gonna make this uh, this beautiful little hay from the Hebrew alphabet with a the door on one side and a door on the other, and then we'll put some stuff in it. So we need to watch out for certain pieces of the map. Shoop. Okay. Let's look. So. Alright, it's a little bit light. I kind of actually darkened it. Um, we can't build on these things. I'm sorry. I know you want I know you wanted to build on these little weirdos, but those are blockers. These are dangerous. Faults. And there's one other. This is Craig. So, this one? No. Bad. Can't build here. Can't build on these. We can build, we can't build on any features, which I think is like these weird things. I'm like this gold. Oh gosh, and there's a, this is a road, I believe. <laughs> We're gonna, hey, hey. There's, there's no, there's no wrong way to play. No ghosts, paper airplanes, middle fingers. All right. We're not doing that. I think, I believe, if we build on this stuff, we get a little something something. But if we build on the woods, we get like, it costs less to build. I don't think that m matters for this one. Let's double check. Hold on now. 
Town center. Start with a free town center. Okay, so we don't need to worry about the terrain stuff. Let's just build in a good spot and not no terrain happening. We'll worry about that next. Once we get the setup done, we'll start going down this kind of event economy action logistics loop over and over again until we survive. We're probably not going to finish the game tonight. It actually says, like, hey, don't play this all in one sitting. So I don't know. We'll see. I don't know what these are. They look interesting, though, these things. I, let's, let's put ourselves near something like that. And this road is good. Oh, yeah, this is like uh, this is like when... Um, it's, a, it's like a video game, kind of. It's like, you know, it's what your, uh, your grandma used to play before video games were allowed, before they were legalized. Okay, what is the shape of the town center? Here we go. Town center looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Beautiful shape. Beautiful shape. Very good shape. Like a little arch. And the there's doors on it. Okay. I'm gonna put I just we're just gonna give it a shot. We're gonna do our damnedest. If I build a town center, let's say oh, let's say uh oh god, it all depends on this. This is such a big choice. Uh oh Let's build it like here ish. Maybe. Mario's coming. Don't worry, Ian. Mar the Mario is implied. It's it's bigger than that though. It's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoa, that's so big. God damn. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Could build it there. Hmm. Okay. Um let's just put this down somewhere so we can get on with our lives. How's about up up in here? This is a nice <sighs> Yeah, let's let's put it over here. This is a good place, maybe. And it's six six across. Hmm. This is scary. Oh well. It doesn't you know, we're learning as we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six wide. Hey, um, and then six across. Is that right? Is that right? Is that right? Does that, right? Does that look like that? Yeah, I think we got it. Okay, and there's a door here. And da -na -na, da -na -na, da. this is our beautiful, happy little town center. Gorgeous. Uh, well, there's another door, right? Yeah, right there. Okay. Let's stick another door on it. Shrink. Oop, that's a big door. Oh, that's a big door. Don't want your door to be too big. It can be embarrassing to explain to your friends why your door is so big. Puppy's yelling. Me too. I'm yelling. This is a this is a big this is a big energy stream. High octane stream, okay? I should have put like classical music on or something. Alright, so this is a... we have to mark this as a one. One. Because this is our first building. We could name it. Let's um I ain't playing paint store. Let's name it. It's the uh let's see. The uh the uh, let's see uh, the, uh, the the bow Venus Institute for games and gaming. Okay, that's a little too big. We'll make it tiny. This is like a little, this is a little Easter egg. A little treat. <laughs> Jesus, not that tiny. <sighs> you say that, pup. You say that. Okay, that should do. Great. 
It's the Bobinus Institute for Games and Gaming. I'm just going to paste that down, merge that down a layer. Perfect. Okay, look at this map go. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. What's next? We're almost there. I can taste the game and yet to come. B. It's down near the bottom. It was actually the very last page, right? Yeah, okay. Here it is. Uh-oh, M is powerless. Oh, Jesus. All right, well, I guess it's just anarchy. Everyone just be, be excellent to each other. Let's let's prove the skeptics wrong. We can do this without without cops. We don't need mods. Oh, my God. Throw another game on the pile. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. All right, hold on a second. Oh, my God. I'm trying to... I'm trying to... I'm trying to do this this beautiful little game. Now we gotta throw another game on the pile? Are you kidding me? Why did I make that so cheap? Alright, one sec. Th now look what you've done, Ian. You just you just bumbled in here. What's that little line from uh what do you call it? Uh the Big Lebowski? You're like a child. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Luck be a landlord. Now we're not going to spend much time on this. Because I'd like to play the other game. My child is a Bobinius at the Bobinius Institute. <laughs> but it is here, okay? I'm sticking to my word. We go to level 15. That's the toughest one. Spin. You can feel however you want, puppy. I don't, I don't know that I need to know that, though. I make good... I make good choices. Uh, I think I'm. I think I got. I think I got it. All right, it's going pretty well. Um, light bulbs are fine. They go away eventually. Hey Z. Um, we'll go to the first. Uh, the first rent payment. There you go. You're like a child who wanders into a conversation. The world does not start and stop in your good feelings. You miserable fuck, Ian. Okay, we paid rent. We had ten extra coins. Um, we'll add the pinata. And I think we'll just take this um, blue pepper. Okay, and that's that's it for now. It's still there. It's on the pile, but this is not a great night for game on pile. It's game night. We're playing. We're playing a paper and pencil RPG, solo RPG together. All right, isn't that enough? Isn't that more than enough? Pierre's got some horks, but he's okay. <laughs> no, Ian's a, a wonderful person. All right, now let's check this uh, setup. Uh, game setup. Okay, so we built our town center. We avoided Craig's faults and features. We need a, hmm, two wood, five food, and four P stored. Huh. Two wood, five food, four P. Okay. 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 The art show the dude's landlord is Chef Fingers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chef's landlord. I love uh, Luck Be a Landlord is wonderful. So we're going to store our P in the balls down here. That's a good point, Dale. So put the P's here. These represent our population. I believe. These are the normies. There's only four people. Uh, and their names are Cyber Z, Ian, Neil, and M. Where's Nat? Mm -mm. Mm, they're implied. Okay, so we've put our P in. We've, we've put our P down at the legs. P in our legs. Uh, then we need to... <clears throat> five food... And two wood. Oh gosh, I guess it'll just barely fit. <laughs> Johnny, these men are cowards. This is this is a hopeful game. There's no room for nihilism here. What was it? Five food? We can do that. Okay. Um. Oh jeez, I should have put the Bobinus Institute on a different layer. 
now it's okay that's okay that's okay just shut up let's rock and roll we'll put the food on top of the people this is from a bird's eye view right food 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 I'm, I want I want the institution to be up there uh, we need one more food right put it here and then oh, Jesus uh, and then two wood W and a W that's a two two W's great this is it this is our this is our our world entire the Bobinus Institute for games and gaming this is our town center we have two of wood five of food four of people did I do all that with a PDF in the way no that's awesome Let's look though. Add P in out and F out to economy area. What? What? Uh oh. Don't know what that means. Excuse me. I'm gonna have to find it in here. Must be in here somewhere. Let's see. So we're almost to the point where we're going to start having events happen to our town, responding to them, building more buildings. What? Okay. How to play. Oh, uh, we, we did that. Okay. Let's see. What's the next move? I need a table of contents or something. There is none. <laughs> Good luck, sucklet. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, I know we're starting on day one because we're we're doing the easiest possible mode. Boy, there's a lot of cool events ahead. We can scavenge and make spells and hire adventurers, go on quests. It's all in here. Whew. Just need to make sure I understand the uh, the in out like the that's the stuff on the f on the right side of the screen. That's the um, this stuff over here. Solo pen and paper. Exactly, exactly. You know, if you don't know what the hell's going on, just relax. Just sit back and relax. Need to OCR this bad boy. You gotta start busting out the um, the meaning behind these. Uh, mysterious sets of letters cuz i don't know what you're talking about exactly okay let's see p in out and f okay i must be near the beginning i think that's the economy part yeah steps of around events and economies economy here we go okay as so you add structures to your town, effects will be added to your economy area, which produce and consume resources on an ongoing basis. Okay, great. And then, so all we have right now is our town center. <laughs> OCR stands for Ocarina of Rhyme. It's a cool um, gamer rap album that I put out um, a couple years back. It's pretty good. Uh, okay, town center, what does it do? P on six. Okay, it pees when I roll a six. P on six. And that is what? On six. We're gonna pee on six. Okay, on six we gain population. I believe that's what P means. Build range of four. Cool. So things within four steps of those doors. Okay, this is what it produces. Got it. Got it. Got it. Princess and the peon six. Peonce? Oh, I wish we hadn't already named our um, townsfolk, because Peonce is a really good name. Damn it. I'm just going to write down Peonce so we don't forget. P. On. Just so we don't forget. But right now, the only thing I need to do, let's see, woodstone, food, gold, population, militia, horses, clerics, reputation. 
Huh. Where's that P on six? Huh. All right. I'm just going to write Piance on six. Because that's what our town does right now. Right? Okay. Right. Great. Oh, there's our population. There it is. Okay. So let's uh, put this away for a second. Population. Oh, gosh. How does this work? We have a population of four. Right. Okay. So we, we can gain population on six. That's fine. We're not gaining anything um, consistently right now, I don't think. But I would put that here, right? P on say. Great. Can't talk about my P on say that way. <laughs> I just like to call I just like to say it. They're my P on say. You know, it just feels so good. Just I just love to hear how that sounds. My fiance. Oh my fiance. It's so funny. I never thought. I just didn't, you know, we're all just getting older. We all we're all getting, you know, settled down. With our husbands and pives. Can't marry my peon wife. All right. Now, what's the next thing here? I believe we're all set. I think we're all good to go. I think we're gonna begin day one. And if anything's missing, uh, um, like, what? Do y'all know how to play this game? No what? I'm the expert here. Okay. You're just gonna. I'm gonna. I'm the guiding hand. No one will know. F. What is F? Hold on, what does F mean? Let's food. Got it. Okay. Cool. So right now we have five of food, four of people. Okay. If you say so, I'm bona fide. Bona fide sir chai chat. And it says to add them to the economy area. <laughs> I am a little I'm a little unsure about that. Let me search this document. Hmm. In out. Is that it really? Oh my god. That's the only time you say that? Okay. In Oh, f space. Uh-oh. <laughs> Fine. Whatever. Forget it. I melt steel beams is true. It's a fact. <sighs> we can do this. We're fine. We can. I think. I think we're we're good enough. Okay. This is enough to 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 start. We're gonna be able to build things that can produce. Hmm. Producing every. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. Great. Look, this is kind of how it looks. Put food in different places. You put your population in different places. Things may blow up. Mm -hmm. We'll get to it when we get to it. Um, but these uh, these things that are added and subtracted happen during the, the the economy phase, which will it's just a shout away. It's just a shout away. So let's go back to our guide and do this. Let's go. Okay, step one. Cross out the next round on the tracker. This is the new round number. And then roll an event. Great. I'm ready. Day one of our grand adventure. Our great adventure together in the peaceful meadow has begun. Congratulations to all of us for being here for the start of what will be an incredible journey. Pierre is asleep, but we're all here. That's my sweet dog. Now we roll. We have to roll a d3, right? Isn't that what you said? I love board games. I have over 100 tabletop games. All right, Lunar. Well, can you just buy this game real quick and read the rules so like someone can know what we're talking about here? Um, okay, roll a d3 on a 2 or a 3. We'll do an event. If okay, so we're rolling the blue die. 
If it's a 1 or a 2, it's a 1. 2 or 3 is a 2. 5 or 6 is the other, you know, what's implied. Okay, we got a 3, which means we got a 2. Keep up, it's not that bad. I barely graduated high school because I had to read three times over to get it. Oh, well. That's okay. That's okay. Then we'll just embrace the mystery, right? So we are doing an event. <laughs> I know you're smart, Lunar. I've seen you stream. Booty Lunar also streams video games. It's true. It's a fact. There's a lot of streamers hanging out right now. Good evening, everyone. Hold on, though. Before we get into all that, I'm reading where it says roll event here. Tiny, tiny, tiny words. I apologize for all the tiny words. I'll describe things as we go, though. Okay. <sighs> On a 2 or 3, roll a 2d6 plus my R RN, which is our um, round number, which is 1. Okay. Cool. Yes! Now, I... Maybe I did say that, Lunar, but I was probably just lying, but I would love to play a, a tabletop simulator game with you sometime. That is a, an excellent uh, situation. It's kind of ridiculous. Tabletop simulator, just like a bunch of free board games. But right now, we're going to go to the event page. This is taking... Let's go. Let's go. Events. Events. Here we are. This is it. It's an event, and it's a town affair. Okay. This is a family affair. We'll roll again. This time, eggs is beautiful. Thank you all for joining us. Mm. Well said, Pastor Ian. Uh, we're going to roll our... I think we roll both dice. Add them together, plus our round, which is one. Okay, we got a seven. Holy fuck, that's loud. <laughs> it's back with no game sounds at all. It's just me. Yeah, I would, I would. I urge you to put on some music where you are. This is a chill stream, other than very loud blasts of sound. Um, we got a seven. That is something that comes up when you roll two dice. We're adding one to that number because it is day. It is round one, as you can see at the bottom. Round one. Uh, Exist life. It's it's good for you, anyways. So what is that? Eight. Eight. Oh, are you kidding? <sighs> Your villagers have a particularly productive and exhausting day. Perform your next economy phase. Mm, twice. Okay, if you insist. <laughs> wow, look at us go. So productive. <laughs> Thanks, Z. Have fun playing Star Wars with Blaze. Uh, economy phase. Huh, that sounds familiar. Isn't that what we're going to do in a second? Oh, it's what we're going to do right now? Huh. Okay. Great. Beep, 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 bop. That's, I think that was a droid impression. Economy. Mandatory. Earn production and lose upkeep. Roll a single d6. Res result used for all die based income and upkeep affects this step. Okay. <sighs> for each resource in the economy, Calculate the gain and the loss. Great. I think we have very little right now. I think all we have is this, this town hall, right? The town center. What's the food out? What's that? How, when does food out happen? I'm a little worried that I'm not doing that part. And it's kind of important. When does the food go away? <laughs> okay. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Great. We're almost there. So... You can always skip production for any building. No. Remember to pay high-ranked resources. I have this up on the stream, right? Okay, good. I can either read or I can see if it's on the stream. Okay. All you need to do is copy production and upkeep. Food out. Shit. We did not, we did not chug Metamucil, and we're doing this economy thing twice. So it may be cockeying a lot of food. Hmm. Okay, like if we get a farm, we get four food every uh, economic run. Let's see, but 
How much food do we eat? Do we eat food? Does food get et? <sighs> hmm. Make sure your economy area is updated. All you need to do is copy the production and upkeep effects from any new building. Okay. So, don't I don't need more food per population or something? That seems like it would happen. Hold on. <laughs> We're going to figure this out. There's also the hand of God, which is a thing. It's very tiny. Down here at the bottom, it says hand of God. At any point, we can re-roll one of our dice. And then we check that off, and it's done. Double economy. It's just secondsies for day one. Right. We're very lucky. Mama economy blessed us. I think. We have, we have two chances of gaining population, but maybe it's not that good. Hmm. Maybe we're just going to eat more. Maybe it was a bad thing. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. We're getting there now. Look at all this stuff. Gaining and losing resources. Okay. Town center can store wood, stone, food, and people, and gold. Whatever. Um, where's the economy part? I just saw it. This is fun for me. Um, thanks for sticking around, y'all. People can do stuff and things and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, population, here we go. They consume food each upkeep. Oh, shit. And may leave if they don't have a house to live in. Uh-oh. Food each upkeep? Uh. Uh-oh. I guess, okay, we're not at upkeep yet. We're at economy, so maybe we're fine. Population. Ah, now I see what we're doing here. Okay. Now I understand. Now I get what population is. Anyways. Population, oops, is the number at the tippity top circled in red. No, wait. Isn't that a reputation? Shit. Hold on. God damn it. That's our reputation. Starts at zero. When you cross a line, you get more population. Whatever. God damn it. Okay, that's not correct. That's our reputation at the top. With all gains and losses, you may gain population. You must lose it going down. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you, game. I thought I was ready to do this. I think we're close. If I can't figure it out, I'll play some more luck, be a landlord. I feel like we're almost there. Okay. Buildings. Can store things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we just don't... We can't gain food yet. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Discounts. Gaining and store... Yep, yep, yep. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Said we only lose food at some later phase, right? <laughs> Where are you, you little f piece of junk? There's actions, logistics. Hmm. When does the when does the eating happen? Okay, here's the game setup. This is what I should have been looking at earlier. Thank God we found it. Okay. <sighs> okay, good. We've got our board. We've got our difficulty. Our tent, our center has all this stuff in it. Our economy is on on six for population. Two P in T C. <laughs> Wait, two per two. Got it. Okay. For every okay, got it. For every two people in the town center, one food must be paid. Now I understand. It's I mean who else who else is there? There is no you, there is only me. Okay. So two of people got it. I need to put that down over here. So we've got our peon six, but for food Two P in 
the TC. Two P and the TC. P on six, two P and TC uh, is one. That's the cost. That is the cost of food. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Makes sense. Almost makes sense. How to play. Place for proceeds in rounds. Yep. When do when do we eat? I guess we'll get there when we get there, huh? Get back here. <sighs> we had our event. We're gonna have two economic phases. Right? Good. So this is this is when we do our upkeep. Shit. Uh oh. So we are just gonna lose a lot of food, huh? Alright, I know what's happening. We made it. We made it through. Here's what's happening. I get two two economic phases this turn. Lucky me. Right? Not really. We're just gonna eat all my food. Two for every two people, which there's so there's four. Gonna lose one food. So two food are gonna be gone after these two economic phases are over. Got it. Got it. I'm gonna roll um, both dice. And we'll just do one after the other. Blue, then red. Big money! You'll see a six! Yes! Yes! That's actually... Um... Hmm. <laughs> it's kind of ruinous that we got our population up right now. Oh my god. Tupac and Twin Cities. Exactly! Well said. Now we'll all remember that. So first we do food, right? So we lose two food. Jesus, this is terrifying. How am I going to get food? Uh, okay. So, I think I'm doing this right. I've got the eraser kind of weak, so it looks a little like pencil. I don't know. Seems kind of fun. So, we lose two food. But then, because we rolled a six, ha-ha, we gain a population. Ding. Uh, did you see that? Good. Thank God. All right. That's all working out. Now for round two, because we got two two phases. Brutal. Actually brutal. Now we have for every two population in the town center, and it's not rounding up. So I think we still only lose two food. Some of them round up. So we're losing another two food right now. Good lord. Okay, if we don't get food. I don't actually know what happens if we run out of food. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the what the next part is. Okay, that was all the food. Great. Good. Okay. This is making more and more sense. Not making perfect sense just yet, but pretty sure that we just did our event. We did our economy. We may turn to cannibalism real quick. Right. Okay. Now, it is time for our action. Construct or upgrade or repair or demolish a building or scavenge for, for materials or send a, an adventurer. We don't have any adventurers. Or use a structure special ability. Well, okay. So we're going to either build something right now, upgrade something, We're not going to demolish our town hall. That would be an interesting choice for the first move. <sighs> or we can scavenge. It seems like we should probably scavenge, but let's for, let's let's, uh, let's take a look at our book. Don't you like how I made it a little transparent so you can still see the map? Isn't that cool? Wasn't that? I like that. Okay. Now let's see. Action. We can construct something if we can afford it. I don't think we can afford to upgrade. We don't need to repair. We aren't going to demolish. So it's either either we're going to build something or we're going to scavenge. And we have to choose what we're scavenging for. So I'm probably going to scavenge for food. Thank you, Neil. Thank you for noticing, Neil. You're very special. You're very observant. I appreciate you, Neil. Let's look at upgrades real quick. I don't think we can afford it, but... Oh, and we can look at buildings, too. That'll be fun. 
buildings will be fun. So here's our town center. With an E at the end? Oh no, oh no. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I didn't realize this was a British game. Um, may have to stop the stream. May have to stop the stream. I'm really sorry, folks. I did not realize that this was made by a, a British person. I apologize. We're going to just kind of bear with it for now. Maybe it's just a misunderstanding. <sighs> Town Center 2 costs 10 wood. Okay, we ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. But can we build something? Can we build something? Okay. These are Tier 1 structures. They're immediately available to us. Um, don't look at those Tier 2. No, no. You're not ready to look at Tier 2. You thought TC was Top Cat this whole time? I wish. It does look kind of like a hat. Looks like a jaunty little hat. Wear it on my head. I can't. I can't get down that far. We can build a barracks. We can't afford a barracks. We could build a forager's hut, though. That's not bad. If we build... Oh, you know what? <laughs> Just sit back and relax. You don't need to know it. You don't need to know what's going on. Just rest, baby. I, I got you. If we build things on a resource like if we build something over top of some woods if it's mostly on top of the woods it deducts I think two wood from the cost we're just playing dwarf fortress with our little brain so how much wood do we have right now <laughs> just try to focus two wood okay two wood two wood and um I know it doesn't look like anything, but these are these are the this is the forest up here. Okay, Forager's Hut seems legit, right? That's what I'm thinking. The Forager's Hut produces a slow and steady stream of food. I love it. Two food. Pff, seems like a seems like why scavenge? You know, well we could just make a Forager's Hut. Every one of these buildings, by the way unless it says otherwise, is unique. You can only build one. All tiles must be on a field terrain to produce a forager's hut. Okay. That's good to know. So we are definitely spending the full price of the wood. If you build on field, I think you get to take a... There's a you roll for the chance to take a second action. I'll double check, but... We're going to put... It's just one square large one of cube forager's hut produce here let me uh produce a slow and steady stream of food here it is at level one producing down here costs two wood eh, costs two wood <laughs> and it produces two food so we'd have to pay our two wood out seems like a very good idea to start feeding our people uh, we could upgrade it later for five wood, uh, and it'll be pumping out three food for us. That'd be that'd be lovely. <clears throat> okay, so we have to build this on the field terrain. Let me go up and see about a field, real quick. Field. Okay, forager's hut and farm must be built here. After building with more than half your tiles on field, roll a d3. On a three, take another action. So that would be great. The double economy thing, kind of, it was a little too early in the game for us to benefit from it, but this will be, this will be cool. We're going to have to make, it's going to be one cube large, and eventually we'll have two more pieces um, coming off the back of it. Okay. So, all right, here we are. This, it does need to be close to our building. There's a thing about range. <laughs> There's so many, so many wheels within wheels. No whammies. No whammies. No whammies. Hmm. Oh, if we build on a lore stone, it can be. It is built a size bigger than what you paid for it. Oh. So if we build a building on top of one of these little fucklers. We get we upgrade it for free. That's amazing, and I think we get two gold if we 
build on top of one of those but okay we're building in the field this is enticing wouldn't okay so eventually our building would look like this mm hmm right now it would just be or we could go here and get three food every turn now that is also very appealing huh hmm we might need the three food what with our bursting population hmm now that is tricky okay cool I like this game now that now that we're playing this is pretty neat this is pretty pretty clever little game I'm going to remind myself what range is real quick because there's some rule about being a proper number of steps away from your other buildings. Range. Okay. Range is counted doorway to doorway. You can move diagonally. Okay. <sighs> Roads. Skip. That's fine. Hmm. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it in a second. Basically, if certain things are within range of each other, they can, you know, you have to build within a certain range of your town hall, right? Build range of five. Okay, okay, okay. And other things, like the barracks, protect things that are within its range which begins at a four. Mmm. So we don't want to get too far off the beaten path, or we'll get our little beaten ass. Okay. Where'd you go? Right. Got it. Got it. Everyone's following along, right? Uh, the other thing is that these, uh, these little things are roads. We can build these later, but for now, we're just going to use the ones that are here. These don't count. So here's a door. So if we wanted to build something within our range of whatever what was like six or five, we go one, two, three, whoop, four, five, six. If you know, is that the best way to do it? No. Wait a second. Three, shoop, four. Oh, it is. Five. Damn, six. So that's range. You know what I mean? What was our town hall's range? What was it? Was it five or six? It was... Four! It was four! Jesus! I'm greedy. I'm greedy. It was four the whole time. I apologize. That was not me at my best. <sighs> so... Gosh, what can we... Okay, there is a road down here. Hmm. Damn it. Maybe this town center wasn't built very efficiently after all. Hmm. And right, I'm going to scroll up. Hold on, let me... If I'm reading, you should be able to see it too, I guess. Where's this thing about range? We're fine, we're fine. This is all going to work out. Range, range, range. Tell me all about how to put things near each other. Yeah. Range. Okay. Proximity of one building to another is the core of the game. Blah, blah, blah. Roads alleviate this problem. Demolish the town hall. No, we're committed. We're, f we're committed, Neil. I'm sorry. It is what it is. Town hall. If the town hall sucks then breakfast town sucks and then that's just how it's got to be <sighs> okay okay I think I get it though I think I get it range of four so one two three four that actually works just fine we could have an upgraded um, but a food maker food food processor I like that the other option is one Two, three, blah, 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 four. Now that doesn't work. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to use our upgrade stone 
on our food maker and I think you know what we're probably gonna be grateful early advantages tend to um, I don't know the if they benefit you longer so stands to reason it's pretty good and you know what else it just it only has to go to the door doesn't it well it doesn't matter okay um, hmm great this this works perfectly perfectly and wherever we put the door right so here it is We've, we're gonna build it here but it's gonna be too too big okay if I put the door down here that means that eventually it's gonna look like this if I put the door here I think it means it's gonna look like this. I should double check. I should double check. It's <laughs> great. It's great. It's great. Okay. Okay. So it's saying if the door was here, then the building would be like this. We can mirror it. We oh, we can mirror it. So it doesn't. Okay. Whatever. Anything is fine. Um, let's put the door facing towards the road. Okay, and then we'll put the caboose back here. Yeah, nice, nice. We can name this as well if we wanted to. Hmm. Okay, so that means that now we're getting three food every turn. Three. There's no no die rolling happening. It's just it's straight up. We get three extra food. It's gonna be more a question of if we can afford it. That's an ugly three hole mommy. Make it more beautiful. No, that's about as good as I can do. Oh well. So we do have to actually physically place those F's. We gotta put those F's down. When when we get there. When we get there. So we'll put a two here, just so we don't forget the order we build them in, because that's that actually matters for some stuff that's gonna come up eventually if you think this game is neat you should probably buy it it's only five bucks it's very relaxing so far anyways hasn't been too wretched okay uh, oh yeah we were gonna name that sucker as well make it smaller what is this thing called the warehouse the storage Forager's hut. Oh, okay. It's someone's hut. Neil, you you kind of made the call here. You you're the one who pointed at the stands, so we'll call it a uh, Neil's little hut. And that'll do just just fine. Neil's little hut. Brought to you by gaming. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, merge that down. And there it is. I can draw in GIMP. Yay! Okay, great. This is great. Grufflin for truffles in my little hut. So that's. We're going to assume one of these peas is. They don't live here. I don't think anyone. I don't think people can live in the. In the Gruffle Hut. Oh, Gruffle Hut's a better name. Shit. Sorry, Neil. Denied. Gruffle Hut. Like a, it's kind of like a a yield fantasy pizza hut, if you will. Merch down. Gruffle Hut. I love that. That's good. Games are good. Okay, so the the Gruffle Hut produces food. It can can it store certain things or no? Ooh, does it? Can it actually hold things? Uh oh. Let me just double check. Okay, stores, people, wood, stone, food, and gold. Forager's hut does not. It doesn't store shit. Oh no! You only forage there. You can't leave food in there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so we're, this this we need we need to expand. We need. Uh, I think we need like a lumber mill soon, if we can. 
We're gonna need five wood for that shit. Where do we? Uh, maybe we need to make a house. I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of there's a lot of possibilities, and they're coming right up. They're coming right up. Because that is our action phase over. We did our one thing. Excuse me. So now it's logistics. We can destroy unwanted. Oh wait. Excuse me. Excuse me. That was very silly and greedy of me. Uh, we lost our wood. Our wood is gone. Goodbye, wood. Scratch, 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 scratch. We had to use that wood to build our gruffle hut. Silly me. That would have been a real bonus if I just so happened to forget about that. Okay. Not bad, though. Not bad. It's not bad to have food. Three food. Not bad. Okay. Cool. Logistics. Move resources or population around and destroy unwanted resources. Mm, I think we're going to keep everything. I think we're going to keep it all. And that's it. The day is done. I believe that's the whole game. We're on to day two. Priow? Wowza? Ho holy uh, sh shnikes? Etc.? That's it. I could do this again. I could do a few more turns of this. <sighs> okay. I think I totally, completely, fully understand this, this uh, pencil and paper video game now. With it, well, you know, pretty much. <sighs> Great. The day is done. The night falls on our little tiny town. Everyone goes to bed in the town hall with their one food, having blown all their wood on the Gruffle Hut. One more person has made their way here. They worked extra hard and it just made us lose all of our food. No problem. Logistics is over. We are, we are doing another event. That's it. It's event time. Welcome to round two. We roll a d3 and add our round to it. And that's that. So let's roll. We're going to roll the blue die. Blue die means a two, which is a one, because it's a d3. And a one, I think that means nothing happens. On a two or a three, there's an event. On a one, just a chill day. Just a chill day in Breakfast Town. Just another calm, cool, collected day. And we move on to the economic phase where we produce and lose upkeep. Um, when we start this, the economic phase, we roll one die, and that is going to be used for everything. Right now, it's only really affected by if we get a six. So we roll on the blue one. If we get a six, we get one more person. We did it again! Jesus! Okay. Let's do this in order. First is food. So, we are gaining three food and then losing two food for a surplus of one food. It, I think it must be good to have more people, right? <laughs> there must be some benefit to having all these people. You can't have more buildings than people, that's for sure. Oh boy. Okay. So we 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 are one more person and one more food. And that's it. That's it. I believe that's the turn as far as the economy goes. They sleep in the town hall. They sleep in the town center. There you can see all the people on the on the right in there, all those peas. They're sleeping on different there's must have been some kind of schism because there's four people over here and two here with the food so i don't know what i don't know exactly what the drama is if there's an issue of trust or what i don't know something is separating the people um just you know pol politics are divisive life is hard maybe the two on the right are married that's right okay you know what 
KPR, you're right. It's it's not Lord of the Flies. Neil, nice try. Everyone, it's utopian. And part of utopia means that if you want to bone down with someone, you are entitled to some privacy. You can have your own leg of the town hall, town center, with a British E. So they're over there making love near the food because it's some kind of belief in abundance. I don't know. We're not going to... All right, let's just move on. We're going to pick an action now, okay? It's time to build, if we can build, or scavenge, if, if that's the option. We can also just not do anything, but... I don't know how we're going to get any wood unless we scavenge, right? Right? Come here. Okay. Let's take a look-see. All right. So here we are in action time. I can look at the construction. <sighs> Let's just take a look and see if we can build anything. And then we'll talk about scavenging. Once we know what we want, you know? So any of these tier 1 buildings are available, except for the forager's hut, which we've already built, right? Um, wooden fence requires a lumber mill, so we can't do that. House. Mm, house costs 6 wood. That's not good. Barracks cost 4 wood. The, the barracks will protect us if we... If our town is attacked right now, we have nothing protecting us. I'm gonna just, real quick try to find that thing about wooden wooded areas woods here we go buildings with more than half their tiles on woods cost minus two w right the others wanted to sleep it's very loud um, this is my fantasy town so people are coming loud when when they do that so buildings can cost two less wood if they're built over top of woods but that's not happening. I mean, a house. Even a house would cost four wood. Lumber mill would cost... Okay, lumber mill seems like the next one. And that'll cost three. Okay. Once we've got that lumber mill up and running, though, that's going to be a beautiful thing. More than half the top... Huh. Huh. Is there not, like, a storage aspect to the lumber mill? God damn. This is scary. S is stone. We'll get to stone later. Don't, don't worry about stone. Don't worry, don't worry your pretty little head about stone. <sighs> hmm. <gasps> Whoa, if they have their own house, they don't eat. They don't, they don't take up the food. Ooh, that's nice. Okay. Is there just like a okay? There's a there's like a depot that stores things, but the lumber mill does not store things. This is just going to be tight for a while. Yikes! I don't know what to. We can't build anything, so we're going to have to forage, and it's going to be for wood because wood builds all of this stuff. If we want to upgrade our town center, that's going to cost ten wood. Whew. Oof. This is tight, and we have not we have not dealt with any real uh, drama yet. We have not been attacked. We have not had any, I don't know, terrible events. We're just we're just struggling right now just to figure it out. Because <sighs> eventually it would be nice to have a little more space in our town center. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Wouldn't that be Wouldn't that be amazing if we had that that little slice of uh, two right there? Oh. But we're a ways away from that. That would cost us ten wood. Ten wood? Where are we? <sighs> huh. It seems like... Okay. <laughs> we need to build a house to get people out of our town center so we can fill it with wood so we can get enough to upgrade our town center. Because ten... That's... A, I mean, Jesus. Do we even have the room for that? No, we have, we have space for six things right now. This is terrifying. Oh, you know what? People can also live outside, but if then they're homeless and there's a homeless thing. You have to roll for homelessness. Houselessness. 
So hopefully we won't have to worry about that for too long. <sighs> There's always the chance that I'm just forgetting something really important, but I think... I think... We should endeavor... to make a lumber mill. Yeah, this is gonna be fine. We'll be fine. We'll make a lumber mill. Then we'll make a house. Okay. Good enough. Good enough. Right? Yeah. Great. So, for now, though, we're not doing either of those things. We're doing something much scarier than that, which is we're going to scavenge. This could end in total disaster. Select wood, stone, food, or gold to scavenge for, and then roll for the scavenge column. <sighs> okay. I'm ready. Where's the scavenging? It's nearby. Here it is. Look at this. You see this over here? This is visible. Good lord. So if we roll on this, um, this uh, scavenge table. If we roll a two, we lose all of our gold. Who cares? If we roll a three, we lose half of our wood. Who cares? Okay, so actually scavenging for wood is totally safe. Because we have nothing. We have nothing right now. I could even scavenge for stone gold but we should we should go for wood right we have nothing to lose right now I guess that makes sense <sighs> okay to roll scavenge first select the resource to scavenge for then roll a 2d6 and do whatever it says okay so we're gonna roll on this wood table our action for the day we're not building we're not upgrading we are scavenging for some good, good wood. Achoo! Okay, add these two together. Uh-oh. That's a four. Oh, you know what I just remembered? That's actually really bad. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, look, I mean, we rolled low. We hit a whammy, and I was wrong. Um... <laughs> You, you can lose things. You can indeed lose things. In fact, the way that it works is, this sucks. Um, if you don't have, for example, is this showing on the screen? Okay. If you don't have wood, you can pay stone. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to double check. And if you don't have stone, you just keep going down this list. Oh, so I guess we'll lose one food. I think we're going to lose one food. Sure hope it's not... Sure hope it's not two food. <sighs> okay. I'm pretty sure we're going to lose a food. Because of this failed scavenging attempt. People are just having too much fun gruffling, and they can't... They can't keep their mind off anything but food. <sighs> Scavenge. Okay. Great. Mm hmm. Where is it? Geez, this. I wish this was just a little cleaner, you know? It's a little easier to look through, but. It's somewhere in here. Right. Okay. <sighs> um, gaining and losing resources. This is it? If you can't. One higher. Right. Okay, so lose one resource of higher value. Okay. What about second breakfast? Second breakfast is fucking dead. Although, here's the thing. We're going to lose one food. Oops. Um, we're going to lose one food in our action phase. And then... Is that the end? And then logistics. Okay, yeah, so we just lose the food. Okay. Hey, 
It's like, um, remember those commercials for, um, Gogurt? We're gonna lose, rather than losing the spoon, like in that commercial for Gogurt, we're gonna lose our food. So similar in some ways, different in others. Shit. Okay. Uh, logistics, we have nothing to logist. I guess we'll just try to scavenge again tomorrow. As we continue down this trek, the, uh, the things we encounter are going to get scarier and scarier. Do you understand that? Do you realize that? Oh my god. Okay, let's roll uh, the blue die for day three. A six. Okay. Mm. Mm, I think that means something from the outside world is going to affect us. One sec. Mm. I'll close that door. Okay. <sighs> That's right. That's okay. We're the six means something from the outside world is going to impact us. Uh. Buh. What? Oh no. Could it be? What could it be? <laughs> it's down here somewhere. Wait a sec. Let me just make sure that's true. Pretty sure it is, though. Event, right? Okay. So, world. The world intrudes. Okay. So we got it. We didn't get a six. Silly goose, you roll. No, yes, we did. Okay. We may get to host the Summer Olympics. Let's see how it goes. So here we go. We're going to go to our table of events down here. Down to the table of events. The world intrudes is on the right. We now roll both of these dice again, add them together, plus, plus our, um, our, our day, which is three. So it's going to be what we roll plus three. Horrifying. Oh, thank God. That's a low number. I like to see low numbers. So we got a five over here. Plus three is eight. Grr, eight. Eight. Over here in the world intrudes. A dwarf visits. Oh, it's so, oh, it's so fantastical. A dwarf? Blah. What, in my town? Blah. Those are the the fey folk. <gasps> okay, a dwarf visits. Oh, amazing, and offers to show you how to sing to stone. What? If you scavenge for stone this round, add plus three to your roll. Results over twelve are reduced to twelve. Huh. Okay, that's amazing. Is it amazing? What can I do with stone anytime soon? Huh. Can I build anything with stone right now? I think... Wait a second. Wait a second. I, I believe... I need to read about this, but I think that you can skip to the second payment of something. Yeah, I have to store all the stone. This is the problem. Because, like, here's what the thing is, like, maybe we could build a house. A level 2 house. It might just be that we have to forage for wood. Even though we got this beautiful dwarven blessing. That I guess we're going to forget. After we wake up, it'll be like it was all a beautiful dream. And maybe it was. Maybe it was, because we're, we're probably not going to use this. I have, to, I have to look up how to build up build things, because I want to make sure I understand. Construct. <sighs> Select the building and size. Okay. Okay. Erase the listed number of resources. Draw it in your town. Number each building. Okay. Well, hold on now. Size. How do you pay for the size? Hmm. Because if, if we can just get a bunch of stone and get the wood afterwards, 
that would be all right if we have a level two house. Damn. Okay. Let's see. Size. Come on now. Where is it? Mm-hmm. Can't overlap other buildings. Shmana mao mao mao. Shabadoo. Shabaday. You can increase the size of an existing building by paying the cost of the new size discounted by one of those by all of those things once. Huh. So maybe we can just build any size house. I think that is definitely what that means. Whoa, okay, okay. Interesting. So so here's here's my here's my thinking now. We can go for the house. If we get four stone somehow, we can just build a level three house. Holy shit. That's amazing. What? Even, you know, maybe I'm misunderstanding the rules here, but I don't think I am. I think the way that it works is when you want to upgrade one of your buildings, you pay the, the cost minus one of each resource onto your the thing that you have now. This makes sense. This makes sense to me. This makes sense to me. We can just pay it. We can pay it straight up. Plus three? On a roll for stone, we can get four stone. I think I, I, I believe it. I believe I believe it is hap happening. I think it is possible. I have faith. <sighs> I have faith. Praise be. I don't know what. Actually, we haven't really gotten into religion. You do build churches eventually, I think. But we'll figure out God then. You'll be set when Big Bad comes to town. Exactly, exactly. All the stone. I could throw it at them. Hmm. How much do barracks cost? <gasps> we could even get big barracks. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, if we get five stone, five wood. I don't know. I'm just... Now, look, I'm, I'm dreaming. This is pie in the sky. I'm dreaming my life away. Let's just... Let's just take the stone for now and see what happens. Maybe we're going to beef it anyways. You know? We might still roll badly. <sighs> but for now, we're going to keep the dream alive. Plus three to our scavenging roll. Not bad. First we do our economy. It's time. Who's that knocking at the door? Who is that? It's, is that Mama Economy again? Tell tell her to stop coming around. Big roll. Blue die. Two. Okay. Two doesn't mean anything. We do not increase our population. We lose one, two, three food. And we gain three food. Ooh, cannot wait to have a house. That's so scary. So we're at, we're at equilibrium when it comes to food. Jeez. Can you imagine? Everything's so precarious. We could, we could die. We could die. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> so that's our, that's our economy. Done. Nothing happened. Honestly, not as bad as it could be. Now it's time for our action. We're going to scavenge for stone. Because we've got a stoner's luck. We've got the blessing of stone. We are bleased with rock knowledge. Okay. So it's impossible for us to get any of these bad ones. <gasps> we could lose one food, though, if we roll really bad. Because we're getting plus three on our roll, right? So... <sighs> Look, we're dreaming. we're dreaming a dream right now. I don't know what else to tell you. We're dreaming a dream. How much does a house cost again? The second fluff layer of house. Two stone. We can do it. We can do it. <sighs> Big money. So it's what we roll. Plus three. 
Big money, please. <gasps> Six. Nine. Okay. We didn't get any stone at all. We got one gold. <laughs> okay. I think you can use greater resources for things, too. I'll have to look it up. Would have been cool to get that D6 of stone. <laughs> but, okay. I'm not going to say no to some gold. I'm not going to say no to gold. Oops, I didn't mean to roll that again. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. Don't look at that roll. <sighs> Alright, we got some gold. This game makes sense to me. G. G for gold. Hmm. Okay. Fine. I guess. Fair. Very fair. That's our action. For logistics, we do nothing. There's nothing to logist. <sighs> I think that's it for the day. Again. Alright, hold on now. Building. I just want to remember how gold works. Gold. Hmm. There's four resources. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. <sighs> okay, here we go. Hmm. Events and upkeep will force you to lose resources. You can overpay. Maybe you can't overpay. Damn, what am I going to do with this gold? Shit. What can I do with this dang old gold? Nothing? Sad. Seems like it's valuable. Hmm. Relics. People. I'm just trying to see if I can use gold, like, instead of stone. If need be. Let's look at building. Economy, action, construct. Okay. I may build structure at one of three sizes. Bigger buildings take up more space, cost more, and perform their function better. Okay. Apply discounts if you build it on the right terrain. Oh, I forgot about that. So we can actually build the house on a rocky terrain if we want to. Hmm. Okay. Build range. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I know this is not as as. Uh, I, it's all gonna be worth it when 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 we get there. Maybe. Okay. Apply discounts. Where does this? Where does it actually say how to spend this stuff? Build it thoughtfully. Tight rings are cheap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. I mean, that's it. Doesn't say anything about that. Okay. So gold is uh, just a shiny, shiny nothing. There's no use for gold. Oof. <sighs> Yikes. Oh well. That dwarf... That dwarf song was too beautiful for this world. We were rewarded with uh, horse shit that we don't need. Thanks, dwarf. Thanks a lot. Jerk. <sighs> Alright, day four. Day four, and then... Um, I should probably stop. It's getting late. And I might come back to this game on stream. It's been fun. Maybe we'll do a few. Maybe we'll do a few days. I, 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 I'm just saying. I'm having fun. I might be misunderstanding. I should probably read these rules again. But here we are. Let's roll to see the blue die. What sort of event we're gonna have today? Any? No. <laughs> no event. 
Every day is a winding road. Get a little bit closer to rolling die. Uh, your buildings produce stuff. Nope. No, they don't. That's where you're mistaken. Because I produce three food and I eat three food. So economy is nothing. Let's go forage for some wood. Okay? It's time to forage. That's all we do. That's all we do around here. Forage, 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 forage. Sick of it. Alright, you know what? I'm remembering, like, okay, if you build on stone, it discounts by one. If you build on woods, it discounts the wood cost by two, right? So this house can cost, instead of six wood for a level one house, we can get it for four wood if we build it in a forest. Four, forest. But the stone cost is only going to be reduced by one. If we build, uh, I think this is the stone here. Like, if we build the house over here, on the stone, it would only cost one stone, we don't have one stone. Anyways, we're not doing any of that right now. We're just looking for some wood. We're just looking to get some wood. All right? No questions asked. Okay? Discretion is appreciated. We're going to the scavenging table right now. Come with me. It's down here. I should open up a couple of tabs next time I stream this so I don't have to do all this scrolling. Hmm. You learn something new every day. All right, big money. We're scavenging again. Chew. That's such a shit roll. Come on, buddy. Minus one wood. We just lose our last food. This is so bad. This is so bad for us. We lost our food. <sighs> okay. All right. If y'all would just get up off your asses and stop making sweet love inside the town center, maybe we wouldn't lose all of our food surplus. But we did. Because you didn't. Mm. Not great. Not great. Not great behavior. I'm just going to say that it's not great. Not awesome behavior. A little disappointed. Okay, that's the day. Day is done. Here we are at day five. Okay, now things are really moving. Now I feel like I, things can happen at a steady clip. Let's roll that blue die to see what kind of an event we're going to run into today. That's a six. That is the world is going to do something to us. So now we roll both of these and add our daytime counter oh god low 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 number low number oh that's a huge number okay that's a big number 11 plus 5 this this might be uh this might be something uh, gnarly that's a 16 16 from the outside world Oh no. <laughs> okay, here we are. We've we've made it to a scary event. We're going to have to read about combat. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> oh, but if we win, if we win, we gain 3 wood. So this could actually be amazing. <sighs> the situation is this. The situation is exactly this. <sighs> Wood elementals attack. <gasps> the trees themselves move from the woods to our gentle camp. I love I love the outcome where we where we build a house out of wood elementals. I hope that is what happens, but we're gonna find out right now. We do have six people. Maybe that's good. I don't know. Win, gain three wood, lose, building damage. So, <laughs> they have a TTR of two. I don't remember what that means yet. 
and they're going to attack our lumber mill, but we don't have one, so that means that they are going to attack instead either our Gruffel Hut or our town center. So that's a coin flip. I have to roll for which one they're trying to, to damage. So let's do it like this. Um, if it's a 1, 2, or 3, that's our town center. If it's a 4, 5, or 6, they're going for their Gruffel Hut. That's the blue die. Ready? Okay. They're going for our town center. Thank God. We need that Gruffel Hut. Gruffle Hut so very, very badly. Okay, let's learn how to fight. Let's learn how to fight real quick. TTR of 2. Remember that. I don't want to forget that. TTR of 2. Okay. Alright. So, here's our event. I guess... Where is the uh, combat? Must be underneath all this. Logistics, game, addenda. Huh. Where the combat at? Hmm. Hmm. Where's the combat? I know it's here somewhere. Attacks! The world can be hostile. Kick their ass, sea bass. Thank you, Neil. The world can be hostile, and when it is, the consequences to your town can be destructive. Whether you repel them is mostly up to the size of your military. When you are attacked, the town threat rating represents the magnitude of the threat to your town. So our town threat rating, our TTR, is 2. The attack may target a building. Okay. That's what's happening. They're coming for our town center. Scary. We need to determine our town defense rating. It starts with a zero. Okay. If the barracks is constructed and undamaged, okay, that's, we don't have a barracks. <laughs> okay, we don't have any of this stuff. Finally, roll a D6 and add this to our, okay, great. This is it. Here's the situation. The, the chances are good that we're going to fend these fellas off, and better than that, use their corpses to build a home for ourselves. <sighs> because we roll a die and add it to our zero. Okay? Oh, it must meet or exceed. Oh, wow. We're in... Okay. <laughs> so the only way we fail is if we roll a one. Okay. Well, the only way we we fail this defensive situation is if we roll a one. Let's roll the red die, because it's red is a more exciting color. If we roll a two, a three, a four, a five, or a six. We will gain three wood and save ourselves. If we roll a one, our Gruffle Hut will be damaged, and we'll have to figure out what that means. All right, I'm going to roll the red die. Oh, okay, thank God. Thank God. Oh, we did it. We have no barracks. We have no walls. We have no outposts. We don't need it. We don't need it. These, I said that the trees that were coming out of the forest, I meant shrubs. Might, might as well have been. Chumps. Chumps. And you know what? We chop chumps. We chop chumps around here. And that's three W's for us. That's three big W's for us. Oh, buddy. I don't mind seeing that. I don't mind seeing a www dot victory.com backslash maybe we can make a house forward slash maybe we have to wait another turn and try to scavenge some more <sighs> dot biz yes oh, what a relief what a horrifying relief okay uh, we're, we're getting ahead of ourselves though right Economy? No, we're not really getting ahead of ourselves because we lose three food, we gain three food. Perfectly fine. 
action construct let's construct let's quickly make something out of those bodies if we might if we may let's see here okay great can't quite afford it we could build a barracks though <sighs> hmm could build a barracks we're gonna need one we're gonna need one eventually oh but hmm here's how this thing works I know it, it adds it adds plus two to our defense that's good that parts oh shit I just closed my uh, PDF. Shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, mm, mm, which one was I looking at? I hope it was this one. Okay. Good enough. <sighs> Where was I? Just clicked the X. There it is. Okay. Beautiful. Perfect. This is the H of help happiness H hooray if we make this H if we make this barracks how does this work exactly <sighs> it can store a militia we don't, you don't start with any militia but on a six we would lose a person from our regular population and they would become member of the militia Militias protect us from attacks like the one we just dealt with. And I, I mean, I guess that's that. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. We could just, we could build one. We could build a barracks. I'm a little worried about food. If we've got a militia, they eat more looks like food per militia right so that means for every one army person we need one food so if our population grows if we get that six if we roll a six that means we would gain a population from our town center and then lose one into the barracks and then we don't have enough food Whew, that's scary that's a little scary it's a little frightening Oh, you know what? We could build a lumber mill right now. What am I talking about? We could build a lumber mill for three wood. And then we would get one wood every turn. That feels great to me. Start to accumulate, you know? Whew. I like this. I like this. Let me just... Look at this reputation thing. Because this is one thing I'm worried about. You start at zero reputation. Uh huh. That's it? How does reputation work exactly? I just don't want to make sure I'm not messing up. Because we did just win a fight, right? Reputation. Gaining it. It can go negative. Huh. You will be rewarded. No, no, no. Reputation. Huh. I guess we'll... F maybe reputation shows up later. I don't know. Yeah, I see some stuff down here that says gain reputation, right? So... We don't get any reputation for killing those trees. We just get their wood. I guess it's not that impressive. I guess around these parts... You know, if you go into go into the big city and you say hey we uh, <laughs> we actually just killed a bunch of trees people are not necessarily gonna be like super jazzed with you about that okay hey fair enough fair enough so no reputation but we could build a lumber mill right now and we're gonna it's happening it's all happening so uh, at a leisurely pace I like this I like this chillness. Three wood. 
So that will be reduced by two because we're building it in the woods. We're building this uh, lumber mill. It's a little staircase shape. The door on the end of it. Okay. Hmm. If all tiles are on the woods, get plus one wood. Whoa, two wood a turn. Can I do it? I definitely can. Okay, great. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Because I think this is a good place. Somewhere in here. <sighs> Needs to be within four. One, two, three. Hmm. Damn. Hmm. What about here? No, well... One, two, three, and then we have this whole road. Okay, maybe this is the place. Yeah, yeah, we could put it um, here. Put it in here. I don't mind that. One, two, three, road. Oh, this could work too. So uh, it needs to be within four spaces of, uh, I think the town center. Might just be, be any building, but town center seems wise. And these roads are kind of like skips. And if we put the whole thing in the woods, we get two wood a turn instead of one. That's worth doing, right? The door's on the back of the stairs. Hmm. A like stealth bomber looking thing. Okay. So let's. And we can mirror the uh, buildings as well. Whew. Let's see. Can I fit that shape? Let's look. Can it fit like here ish? Like, what if it was like this? You know? Whew. Does that work? Where would the door go? It would grow... Okay, this is a little confusing. Let me make it into an actual square. Okay, so if I made this the lumber mill... Oh, I would like to put it on top of that gold. Maybe get some gold. I don't really need gold right now. Hmm. Where would the door... I just want to see what the door would be. So the door... I think the door could be either here or here. I think that's true. I think that's true. Yeah. Great. This makes sense to me. What? There are, there are other shit, the other ways we could place this. Maybe so as it grows, maybe then it'll eat up the gold when we, when we make it bigger. Ooh, that could be a thing. What if, what if that? Hmm. If it was like... Like this? Oh, but here's the thing. This gold is not in the woods. Okay. This gold's not in the woods, which would mean that we would lose our bonus gold each turn. So... No, 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 no. Nice try. Nice try, map game gonna fall for your baloney Pfft. it's just a two gold and then you don't get any more gold so nice try let's uh, let's stick with the plan trust the plan right like um, like uh, like uh, like Donald Trump's biggest fans <laughs> any day now it's all, all Hillary Clinton is going to go to jail. We're going to build a beautiful house that looks like a flight of stairs. Working the steps. We are stair masters. This is good. This is good. And this is how it will expand, right? One, two. No, oh, that's not very easy. This and this and this and this. These will be the, the expansions someday. 
I don't think it matters which where I put the door. I guess I can put it here, right? Isn't that right? Let's look. S yes, because you can mirror you can mirror things. This is this is good. This is good. This is great. We've made our lumber mill. <sighs> we spent three wood on it because it's entirely in the woods. That's more than half of it's in the woods. That means it reduces the cost of wood by two. We also get two wood a turn. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I like this. I like this. We cannot store wood in the lumber mill, unfortunately. That's just weird. But it's true. Okay. Okay. Cool. Amazing. I like this. I like this. I do. So we have to remove this wood that we're spending, right? This is the um what phase are we in? Action phase. Okay, okay. So we do. We just gotta spend. All three of these woodses are gone. They are no more. Bye woods. We'll see you again though. For sure. Soon. I have a feeling we'll see Woods again. Someday. Whew. And, uh, okay, we've got a new beautiful building. We do need to denote that it is the third building we've ever built. Beautiful. And just to clarify, just to double check. One, two, three, blah, 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 four. Great! One, two, three, four, going in that door. Love it. Running up that hill, you know? Whew. Yes. Good. Good enough. Good enough. And uh, we should name it. Let's see. Hmm. Nothing's really coming to mind. Is What is this, a lumber mill, right? Lumbar. The lumber lumber support it's not that funny but lumber support wow group we'll just have to see if that'll fit lumber sounds like lumbar you know that that thing from the long past no one talks about lumbar support these days lumbar mill where did it land Just like the old, uh... Well, no, wait a second now. Twin Peaks has a steel mill. Not a lumbar mill. Okay, that's very readable. Good, merge that down. It's done. The lumbar support group. Good. Gorgeous. <gasps> Our town. In the middle of the grid. Twin Peaks is lumber? It's a lumber mill? I mean, that makes sense. There's beautiful trees around, but... Oh, you're right. Now I'm remembering the opening credits. <sighs> they cut trees up. Hmm. Dang it. You're right. I used to work at a... <laughs> I, had a I had a job working at a Christmas tree farm when I was a, a younger person. In the winter. That was really uh, my main experience with Christmas tree farms because I'm raised Jewish, so that was my that was my experience with that beautiful feeling running it through the net. Lunar, thanks for hanging. I didn't even know you were here. Could it could have named a building after you? Get you some good rest. We are gonna be rolling at least one more. I got it. I should stop though. It is. It's been two hours. Oh, we're just getting started. But no, it's good. It's good. It's good to stop while I'm ahead. So let's let's do. Let's say this will be our last day. Oh, we're so close to a week. We'll do a week. <laughs> These will go by quick. All right. 
uh, what's the last step of the of the logistics? Move resources around, destroy unwanted. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. We ain't doing that. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. You had a summer at a cardboard plant in Lynchburg. Oh. You know, I think we might be from similar necks of similar woods, Neil. I'm from uh, Virginia as well. Cardboard plant. How did it smell? How's a cardboard plant? Uh, what kind of smell are you rocking in a cardboard plant? A pleasant one? I forgot something very important. Do, 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 do. A big old two. This is what it's all about. Yes. Yas. 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 Ooh. Oh, wait a second. Excuse me. Excuse me. I forgot we were given a boon by God at the beginning of this entire game. Uh. Lumber mill wood gain increased by one. Oh. That's a three. Oh, Jesus. Whoa. What happened? I'm <laughs> That's a three right there. Three wood every... Three wood a day? Oh my god. Whew. Okay, paper plants smell sulfurous. <sighs> a friend of mine worked at a mattress factory for a while. Um, nothing, no smell related, just another factory. Um, the story out of there was that one uh, one day... There was a fire, like a mattress caught fire or something on the line caught fire. And the management came out and was like, quick, put it out, put it out. And all the workers were like, what are you talking about? <laughs> we work here, we're not going to put out a fire. Um, <laughs> so that's, that was their story of the mattress factory. I think they were doing it for them, one of them like fancy online mattresses. Cardboard plant, hmm. <laughs> Yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you know, it was not in the uh, job description, I, I would imagine. Day six, baby! Like the Walmart with the fireworks aisle fire. Right, right. Go risk your life, because we own you? Wait, oh, oops. Yeah, that's right. It's not their... It's not, don't risk your life for your little job. Don't risk your life for any dang old job. Unless that's the kind of job you like to do. Why did I roll that? What am I rolling? Blue. Event. It is a it is an event in town. So this is an in-town event. We roll this again and add the day. Both dice. Six plus six is a twelve. If we get any repeats, we are instructed to roll again. Which is uh kind of scary. Alright, twelve. Not my job. Absolutely right. <sighs> okay. Twelve. And it's on the left side. It is a town affair. Twelve. <gasps> oh, I love this. <laughs> a child stumbles upon a knot of delicious tubers growing behind the town sentier. Gain D6 minus two. Food. D6 minus 2? Does that mean I could lose? If I roll a 1, are we talking about some bad tubers? I don't like that. But okay. We'll roll the uh, we'll roll the blue die. And hopefully we don't roll a 1 so we don't have to worry about it. Blue die. Fuck off. Fuck off. That's not cool. That's not cool. And look, the red die rolled a one as well, just to make it very clear. Can I? Okay. I need to look this up now. Can I lose something on a boon? Can you gain? I don't. I think maybe not. The yeah, the tubers were aggressive. It was an aggressive tuber, and it actually ate some of the other food. I'm sorry. I don't. I mean, it's just. Sometimes when you when you look into these things, it's just it's just the worst possible news, and there's no easy way to say it. It's an aggressive tuber. Hold on. 
I think we're okay. I think it's just shit. I think they're just shitty tubers, not aggressive. Gaining. 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 Where is it? Gaining. Gaining a resource. Come on. <sighs> there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buildings are limited in what they can store. Storing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think we're okay. Let me just check. People grouped. Remember. Events. Note that for events that which have you lose something. Oh, no, 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 no. Discounts. You may not gain a resource if you can't store it. You may shut up. Critical fail, you found an invasive species with tuber blight. Ugh. I can't believe you rolled double ones. That's fucked up. It's not cool. Where is it? Come on. I'm trying to find an excuse. I'm trying to protect myself. Hmm. This is scary. There's curses in this game? Jesus. Events. Okay. Okay. Huh. Okay. Ignore events. Da da da. Shit. I'm running out of options here. Hmm. Okay, hold on. Cannot. Come on. Fourteen. Let's find it. Okay. Okay. Come on, baby. <laughs> I know it's true. Mm-hmm. Okay. None of these. Okay, maybe it's in this little short thing here. And if not, I just, we're just going to have to face the fact that it was indeed an aggressive tuber the whole time. <sighs> okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, perhaps, perhaps, Kisas. We're just in trouble. Ugh. Okay. I thought maybe you couldn't go below. That kid isn't. That kid is grounded. That kid is grounded. A child stumbles upon a knot of delicious tubers. Gain negative one food. That's what happened to us just now. We gained an ouchie. And we have no food. <laughs> In fact, the event happens before the economy does, so we're about to have wood. But we don't have wood yet. No, sir. Matter of fact, this is a very expensive loss. We have to go down, um, to go down the list over here. So, okay. We don't have any food. Next up, we got a pig old. Good thing we had that gold or we'd lose population. That would be... Those would be some gnarly... Gnarly tubers. Okay, buy gold. I... Let's see. What is the story there? <laughs> A child found potatoes behind the house and somehow we end up losing gold. Was this like a Jack and the Beanstalk thing? Is this a mischievous child? I'm furious at one of these little letter P's. <sighs> here's what happened. Okay, I figured it out. It's not great, but here's what happened. The child said they ran inside like Boy Who Cried Wolf. They said, y'all, there's a bunch of delicious tubers right outside the town center. Come quick. They're so good. And everyone ran outside, and while they were all outside looking for the tubers, the kid went in there took the one gold coin off the floor, ran to the nearby city, had a whale of a time. They went to the movies, they got candy. 
They were they Augustus glooped. Oh, they glooped all over the big city, and then they came back and they said, "Did where did you find the tubers?" Uh. Then they burped because they had a big, big turkey dinner with a side of pig dinner. Motherfucker. That's not cool, kid. That's not cool. What you did is not cool. And if this, if we get into a situation where we lose a population, you don't think people are going to remember this part? <sighs> okay, now it's the fun part. It's the economy. We have six people. We eat sick. We eat three food. We gain three food. Thank God we built that gruffel hut on this special place. We'd be long dead. We also gain three wood. Ridiculous. Because it's all in the woods and we have a boon for one extra wood. So look at this. We're back to our www, baby. Mm. www dot clown penis dot fart. One of the funniest jokes ever to be on SNL. For sure. For sure. Gotta be in the top ten. <sighs> That's the economy, right? That's it. And now it's up to us to make an action. Wow. This is going okay. I'll be honest. The wood, the lumber mills really uh, eased my worry. We could just do this for a few more rounds. We'll have, we could upgrade our town center. You know? But we should probably build a barracks soon. We should probably build a barracks pretty soon. Let's take a look. It's action time. We could scavenge. Scavenge, whatever. Um, let's see what, what buildings are kind of more available now. Because here's the thing. We're gonna get lots and lots of wood. <laughs> Very funny. Try to be an adult. Try to calm down. Like, we could upgrade this forager's hut next turn. Because upgrading an existing building, you deduct one from every resource. So... You can see that the Forager's Hut level 3 uh, costs 7 wood and 1 stone. So we already, we're getting 3 wood a turn. We've just got 3. We're going to get 3 next time. If we save that up, we could upgrade our Forager's Hut and get 4 food. Damn. Or, or, we could build a barracks. We could build a barracks right now if we put it in the woods. That'd be pretty good. We could build a lumber... Oh, yeah, we could build a wooden fence. We have a lumber mill. This would protect us from attacks. More so. A complete ring around town gives plus D2, so either plus 1 or plus 2, when attacked. Well, it's not amazing, but... <laughs> it's not nothing, either. It's either plus... Yeah, plus 1 or plus 2 is actually... That could that might save our butts. We could build a fence. I'm not really ready to build a fence. I am interested in the well. You know what I'm interested in? I want to upgrade this forager's hut again. That'd be great. I would love to build a house. If we build a house, we can start putting people in there, and when people live in a house, they start to take care of themselves. They don't eat food. P population in houses don't count toward the food upkeep. That's pretty sick. Starts out with five spots. Whew. You know what? That's pretty good. I'm kind of tempted to do some stone foraging. The other thing to think about is upgrading our town center. Jeez, there's a lot going on here. Okay, now that now that we're really rolling, this game slaps. I like this. I like this. I do. We're not even up to some of the... Like, this reputation at the top, that red circle, has not moved. We haven't even thought about that reputation. There's all, these, there's all this stuff. There's magic. There's a magic system in this game. We're going to build a wizard tower and make spells. This is good, and it's $5. Not only is it five dollars, let me show you something cool. Just for a second. There are two other maps for this game that come with it. 
Look at that. A whole new set of problems. Whew. Build range 5 as well. That is good. Upgrading our town center gives us a build range of 5 and even more beautifully than that it gives us access to tier 2 buildings which outpost farm in depot quarry what the f <sighs> I'm shocked I'm stunned at the, at the possibilities inns can heal adventurers who are they there's adventurers in this game jeez calm down calm down pencil town <laughs> that's such a good diss for a nerd Wait a second. That's a really good disc for a nerd. I'm going to try that one again. All right. So here's the, the situation is like a nerd is talking to me. Whoa. <laughs> Calm down, Pencil Town. Uh, the adults are trying to talk about cool stuff over here. Something like that. Something like that. That's good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use that the next time I encounter a nerd. But anyways, let's get back to playing our solo RPG city building dwarf fortress-like. Um... Let's just get back to the, the cool stuff we're doing. Uh, let's see. So this turn, I think we're just going to forage, though. Or scavenge, I mean. I don't think we can build anything right now. <sighs> oh, no, that's not true. We could build a barracks. And a barracks is a lot of protection for any building that's nearby. Hmm. And it turns people into <gasps> militia people. You know what? I didn't roll for the economy. Shit. Sorry. I forgot. It's not a big deal right now. Let's roll the blue die for the economy. If it's a six, we get population. Okay. Nothing else matters. This is this will be a bigger deal later, I'm sure. Man, why did when did they get all out of out of alignment like that? They're like on top of each other now. Come on. Go horizontal. There you go. There you go. Okay just forgot to do that I think we're gonna forage for stone probably for stone town center <sighs> 10 wood is a lot we need to get a house we need a house we need a house ASAP I'm gonna I'm gonna forage for stone again Hopefully it doesn't go really badly like it has the last couple of times. Where the hell... Where's our foraging table? It's down here, isn't it? And it's not called foraging, it's called scavenging. Gruffling. If, if you will. So roll, scavenge, select a resource, and then roll 2d6. And that's it. If things go badly, we could lose... Okay. If we lose a food... Hmm. We'd lose a population if we lose a food. Oof. We don't have any extra food, do we? Shit. Okay, lurking, searching for stone is a little risky. Ah, <sighs> but the, the dividends. The dividends are good. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Let's let's scavenge for stone and hopefully we'll we'll roll a big number. Okay. Here we go. Add him up. A pow. God damn it. <laughs> okay. Well, we got a 3. So we lose half of all of our stone. Oh! Rounded down! Oh, okay. That actually is fine. Oh shit, if you don't have any, ignore the effect. Huh. Oops. Maybe I've, I punished myself harder than I needed to. It says if you don't have any, ignore the effect. So I think I... I lost our something. What did I lose? No, no, no. That was from an event. The kid, the kid, the tuber thing. I think, uh, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's too late to, it's too late to turn back now. 
We just lose nothing right now. So that was just a pathetic scavenge again. But at least we didn't lose anything. Because uh, zero rounded down is zero. <sighs> okay. That was our action. We're not doing any logistics. Here we are. One week. Dawn of the final day for this stream. I'm going to stream this again. Maybe I'll even play a different map on my own or something, but I'm going to... This will be... This is our special stream. La 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 la. It's too fun. Okay, day seven. The final day. It all comes down to this. Will something interesting happen? Or won't it? Event. We're rolling that red die. Okay, a four means that something in town is happening. And the thing in town that's happening is going to be these two dice plus seven. Ooh, gosh, these big numbers suck. The higher the number, the scarier it is. Shit, so that's an 18. Okay, let's go find 18. 18, 18, 18, 18. Okay. Interesting. Whoa. This is a weird one. This is a weird one. 18. Your forager wanders into a strange grove. If you have a forager's hut, gain 6 food. Roll a d6. On a 1, lose p and Forager's Hut is damaged. So generally this will be good, but it went to shit last time. So maybe we just found a strange grove and came back with those delicious tubers after all. We'll use the red die, as long as we don't roll a one. Oh, okay. We good. We good. Okay. Whew. There was a risk. There was danger. There was, there was the possibility of absolute ruin. But it did not come to pass this time. Instead, we've just gained six food. We don't really have room for six food right now. Sheesh. Too bad we don't have a house yet. Gotta build that house. ASAP. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna build that house, uh, I think, this turn, because it's just getting too gnarly. Six food, huh? Well, we don't have to take it all. And we're about to get three wood. So let me just look and see what, um, what a house costs. Or whatever it is we're building. Whew, that could have been horrible. Six food, huh? Damn, it's not bad. Okay, a house costs six wood. If we build it touching the woods, it's only four wood. Okay. Okay. And we could put that like, like, uh, like, uh, like in this little this little neck of the woods over here. Let me actually draw. If we if we build our house around here ish. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Will it fit? <laughs> it's fun to think about. It'll fit. Yep. Yep. We'll get the discount. Okay. Okay. So we just need one wood. Right? Because we go one, two, three, four, and the house will be like this. I like that. You know, the house could even be like this. Get it closer to everybody else, too, you know? One, two, three. It could even be here. Get ourselves a gold. 
No, it can't. It needs to be in the woods. Relax, relax. There's many possibilities. Just relax. Everything's cool. <laughs> I got I got to stop. It's late. I was just I'm raising my voice. I'm so excited about the gaming possibilities. Anyways, we're going to take a lot of food right now. One, two, three, four food. And that's all we're going to take. I'm very proud of our uh, local gruffler. We all are. They did an amazing job. They gruffled so much food for us. And now it is the economic phase, I think. Yeah. That's where we get wood, but we're only going to get the one wood right now. Sadly. We could have three. There's just not room for everything. And feels like we should keep this surplus. F That's a. Yeah, we should keep the surplus food. It's worth much more. As you can see, this is kind of like. Each one of these is more valuable than the last, right? If you don't have food, you can pay in gold. If you don't have wood, you can pay in stone and then food. Yeah. Great. Perfect. It makes sense to me in my little head, anyways. <sighs> so we're going to take the one wood, and we're going to immediately spend it. Just double check on a house. Houses cost six wood to build, but it is a discount of two wood if most of it is built in the woods. If most of it was built um, in a field, you have a chance at a second action, which is pretty cool. I think I might have forgot to do that for the Gruffle Hut. No, I don't remember. Who cares? Let's build that house, shall we? This is going to be great. Mass mig migration right now. So, here's one, two, three... That's pretty good. Right? Yeah, why not? Although, if it was here... Can't be there. Okay, it'll have to do. Yeah, I like this. I like this. This will be our house. Oh shit, wait. Let me undo those numbers. Here's our house. It's a very fine house. Right? Yeah, very cool. Very cool. Little house. Very cool. going to use all of our wood. This is spent. All this wood is eliminated. Let me make a bigger eraser for a second. Go away, woods. <laughs> Get out of here. You're, 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 you're part of something better now. Whatever happened to the wood from those uh, tree monsters? Oh, it became... Oh, damn. It became our lumber mill. That's that's kind of fucked up. We built a lumber mill out of uh, dead treants. That's hardcore. I love that. I love that for me. I love that for us. Okay, there's the door to the house. I think. For the house, we'll just go with a classic. Uh, we'll just we'll just go for a sex house. You know, nothing fancy. Welcome to sex house. We'll merge that down with a gimp and put a nice big four right there. Beautiful. And what's this? What the heck? Our action is over. It's time for logistics. Uh? Five P's. What? 
Hey, what's the shape of this house? Hmm? You think that's an accident? You think this game is making a mistake? No. Those are that this house is the shape of a pea. Because that is what we are doing right now. We are moving our peas. They are finally out of the nest. Beautiful. All four of you are gone. And we said that this was the couple, but now it represents that wretched child who had one fun day out on the town. And they will be paying the price. They have been abandoned in the Bo Benes Institute for Games and Gaming. They are left there to think about what they did. Meanwhile, the sex house is where all the adults are now married to each other. P is also for polycule in this particular uh, arrangement. Yes, that was a good turn. So here's what this means. From now on, our food cost is going to be one rather than three. So we're just going to have food forever. Food for days and days. <sighs> and I think that's all we need to do for logistics. That was a hell of a week. In one week, we went from desperate scavenging to more pathetic desperate scavenging and then again we did also continue to scavenge really poorly and desperately however we got a gruffle hut we got a lumber mill we got a sex house not bad not bad i think maybe we should have started on a, a little harder difficulty you know it's a little too easy for uh for pro gamers but that's okay, actually, because playing a chilled game like this is fine. Sometimes it's just fun to watch the, the systems go. I'm very curious about these later things that we're going to encounter. I think the next thing to focus on is probably going to be building a town center. Um, upgrading it, I should say, with 10 wood. We have lots and lots of room for storage and activities in our center now. Because we've got our sex house off, rocking and rolling, prospering. Because um, once we get to that tier two, we can look at things like outposts. Oh, we might need to make a barracks at some point too, because we are going to start getting fucked with by monsters. Maybe that should happen first. But we could build an inn. What does an inn do? Oh, it build it boosts our reputation. I forgot to roll for the economy again, so I'll do that real quick. We're going to roll the red die. Okay, three is nothing. So you just use the one die for everything. Um, so like on a six, we would have gained one population. Uh, but if we had the in, we would also gain reputation. Um, stuff like that. We could build a farm for more food. Wow. Quarry to have consistent rocks. Not, you know, exciting but not thrilling. However, tier three, baby. Horses, churches, adventurers, guilds, training grounds, kitchens, monasteries, wizard towers, mercantile guilds, engineering guilds. It, there's another tier after that. Get the hell out of here. It's too much. It's too much. I don't. I can't do it. It's impossible. No one could ever play that much of a video game. I, I, I can't be done. Well, not tonight, anyways. Um, I'll probably do this again soon. This rules. What a fun game. It's called um, Pencil Town. I know that the person who made this has also made a few other games in a similar vein. I think Pencil Town's the first one they made. So you can only imagine how much it has grown from there. Thanks for hanging, y'all. What a delight. I can't believe it's two. I'm going to bed. Uh, oh, no, no, shit. We gotta... <sighs> when you stream, it's nice to kick it to somebody else at the end for everybody. It's nice if... Um, 
people like watching streams. Oh, shut up. It's nice to just watch another stream. And it's nice for the streamer. So nobody's streaming right now. <laughs> yeah, thanks for hanging, Neil. That was a hoot. Appreciate all your uh, your input and hanging. We're going to raid this person who I follow. I don't really know them. Can't vouch, but they're fun, I think. You know, hang out if you like watching the streams. I'm done. Bye. Set up this raid. I'm going to roll these dice. Just a few more times. It feels so good. Oh, four. That sucks. Oh, what's this one? Oh, two fives. Oh, shit. That's, such a, that's a high number. What about this one? What's this? Oh, seven. That's average. That's average, bruh. Alright, we're ready now. Bye.